so obviously I misunderstood the question. So here we go again. I've gone ahead and typed out the two letters. They are separate and they are bold. Now I'm going to select them both. I'm going to open up my align and distribute and I'm going to align the bottom edges so that they're even. You can either do top or bottom. Okay. Then I'm going to deselect. I'm going to select one letter. And I'm going to go to path, object to path, ungroup, path union, so I don't have issues in design space. I'm going to do the same thing with the D, object to path, ungroup, path union. Okay. Now I'm going to select the M and I'm going to go to path linked offset. And the reason I'm using linked offset instead of outset is because it gives a more even outline, more cohesive, I guess you could say. Um, so I'm going to grab this left click up here in this ruler and I'm going to pull down a guide because I'm going to need that in a minute. I'm going to pull up my turn that a different color red um my offset to the thickness that i want once i got that where i want it i'm going to do path object to path and then i'm going to grab my ruler i'm going to take that down to the very top now as you can see my m is outlined so i have those dashed lines right there just line that ruler up with that okay and then go to your D and do path, linked offset, choose a color, and then you can zoom in for this, and then pull this dotted line up to your guide. That way you know that your offset is even. Okay. Now you can hover over your guide until it selects it, and then you can hit delete to get rid of it. All right, now we're going to click on the black, make sure that it's the black, and we're going to right click and duplicate. And then we're going to hold the shift key and select the red and do path difference. Same thing here, select the inner letter. Duplicate, hold the shift key, select the outer, path difference. Okay, now what that did was it gave us an outline. Okay, so now we're going to grab these two because they are going on the top. Place them where we want them. With both of them selected, right click and duplicate. And then deselect everything. Now we're going to choose the outer red hold the shift key and choose the other outer red and do path difference and then we're going to deselect everything select black inner hold the shift select the other inner letter and do path difference so now if you select the two top letters and move them you'll see you have your cutouts okay so that's how you do that. Sorry, I misunderstood the question, but you can um, cut, you know, the red in whatever color you want and then the black in whatever ever color you want. So you can save those as a plain SVG for your cutting machine. I hope this helps.